call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three zero. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. And by the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky. Well, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayel. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and you press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. What's going on, y'all? It's another weekly vlog. Welcome back. Um, I'm so excited right now because... <laughs> I have my some samples come in. So this isn't all my samples. I'm also waiting on another sample, but I ordered it separately. So kind of expected that to come later. But no, so short, my mom wants to see this stuff. And I wanted to really open it on here with y'all and show y'all. Because I really wanted to try some on. And I'm so hype. Here go those little lines in the back. Like, ghetto. Like, what is that? Maybe I should take this stuff upstairs. I got... Y'all be stop looking at stuff, y'all stop looking at stuff. Y'all looking at stuff. Oh gosh. No, but I got two sets and two singular pants. One is shorts, one is pants. And I was scared that the material was gonna be trash. I asked my vendor, was the material good? And he said, yeah, but I'm like, yeah, all right, let me see first. Let me see. Send it to me, please. I know my vendor be looking out, but. Sometimes you gotta look out for yourself, okay? Oh, where is my light? Let me set y'all up. Okay, y'all, so these are some tights that I'm sampling. They have light fit on the back here. It's in white, kind of light. But you can see that the pants are like a sort of texture. Let me bring y'all close. They're giving like some type, okay, there you go. You can see like the texture in them. They feel really, really soft. They hug your body, very much contouring. Let me show y'all in the mirror. Don't mind the ring light. I was trying to give y'all some light. But I think I like these, y'all. And they have the scrunch in the booty. They give you that peach. Mom, you're not even looking. Your, your thing is just loud in the background. Mm-hmm. You like these? Yeah, I love that color. It's so pretty. Look how cute they are. Did you do squats? Look at my butt, man. Look at my butt. That joint popping. Oh, I need those. It's fire. Are they see-through? No, it's giving BBL, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, honey. These is it. Let me put you over so here. So, what are you dropping them April 1st? What'd you say, Mom? You're dropping them April 1st? Mom, these is a sample. I just got them. How I'm dropping? I thought you were supposed to have them to drop for the spring, summer. You know what, y'all? This is why I don't. I can't do business with her. I can't talk business with her. No, those are a different product. I'm just sampling. I'm showing you in the Spice Squad the samples. Okay. Uh -huh. So yeah, these are definitely. I'm gonna get these, y'all. I like this texture. I like how they feel. I don't have nothing like them, and they have the little scrunch in the butt. I'm just bending over and stuff, y'all, because this is what you gotta do when you're testing out this stuff. I'm also gonna work out in them too, so. I'll work out in these this week just to make sure it's not no craziness. I'll sweat on them and everything. I might wear these to do squats tomorrow because that's what you really want to make sure they squat proof and you can do the stuff with the legs. Mm hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Who's that? I like them. I love how they feel too. Mom, don't be smacking too much because the camera right here next to you, they're going to hear you smacking. Oh, yes, mamas. These is cute, y'all. We getting these. We getting these. Let me show y'all, too, why. It's coming different colors, y'all. And it's camo. You can see it's the camouflage. It's not the same material as the tights I just had on. But I love this material. Like, it don't have the scrunchy butt. But it's still giving butt. Okay. Um, And I think I'm going to definitely do the, just the life fit. The life fit right here. Not, not the um small emblem. But what I really love about these and my favorite part is they not like suffocating the thigh. They are very, very like I don't know what to call it, but the seam and elastic down here is very flexible. So um, it's definitely these is it, y'all. Oh, I'm high. I gotta wear these this week too, though. 
just to see. But, like, they not, like, too tight. They're, like, perfect. I'm wearing a medium. You can see it's, it's not much material right here, but I think these are perfect. You like these, Mom? Mm -hmm. Recommend? Yeah. I like that. I would want a hot pink. Get me pink. We coming for you, Summer. We coming for you, Summer, and Spring. Be ready for the drops, y'all. All right, here goes the set, y'all. I'm. Let me show y'all the shorts first. Super fan. I'm really loving. I really love my sample. All my samples this time. I really, really, really do. And you don't always. And most of the time when you get your samples, you don't love all your stuff. But the material of these, it's it's like a rib. It's given ribbed, but not like the ruby set rib. But it is ribbed. Um, and the elastic, everything is very breathable and stretchable. It's like four-way stretch 100%. I love it. And I love this crisscross right here. We have our emblem right here. We have pockets. Because the girls, they love pockets. And this is the top. So for my big breast ladies, I'm not sure about the support, to be honest. Uh, because y'all know I don't... I don't, ha I don't have boobs. I don't have that issue. But it's not much support. Um, you can't tighten this at all. Um, it does have like a v-neck. But if you have huge boobs, I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to work for you. Or maybe you just might not want to wear this like this set to the gym. Like maybe you could wear this shorts. You could always mix and match your tops. You know, we do that all the time. But maybe this just wouldn't be a top for the gym. But, you know, my, my outfits, my clothing... Is for airport ladies, running around ladies, everywhere ladies. So it doesn't have to be for the gym. It does connect. Um, it doesn't connect, but it does like pull down. So even if you really didn't want, you know, your back out, your skin out, it does come down low. I'm not sure if that's because I have no boobs. Like if you know if you had boobs, it kind of would lift it up more. So yes, ten out of ten for me. I like this set a lot. And y'all know, well, if you've been following me, you know me. I love like greens and natural colors, but. All of this stuff come in different colors. I have never showed y'all all my samples before, but, you know, trying something new. Letting y'all see this stuff. Um, if you're new, Life Fit Apparel. Check out lightfitapparel.com. And check out our Instagram. Follow us. Like us on Facebook. Period. Y'all, this is giving, okay? Hey. Little booties matter. That's not my answer no more. It's more like, she got a dope. She got a dope. <laughs> this is sharp my mom loves this one too y'all so this is also ribbed material but it's not the same exact rib that like material that the green set was it's more of a different one this reminds me more of the ruby yeah, it reminds me more of the ruby set when you talk about the material so y'all are gonna love this you're gonna love the um the fit of it the shorts are a little shorter but they in have the line up the butt the scrunchy part so it's definitely giving bbl vibes Definitely giving BBL vibes, okay? If you don't got a booty, it's going to make you have a booty. And if you got a booty, it's going to enhance the booty, okay? It has the little contour type part here. This is, um, yeah, I don't know. I love this. I have the little emblem here. And then let's get into the top. So I was a little skeptical because it's not giving drunk collar. It's just that the collar is sort of wide. But I really think that that's the look. I do have the emblem on the back of here. I think I will keep it like that. It does show the skin. It is crop. And short sleeve. I would definitely wear this on an excursion to the airport. A chill lay running around. Like, you definitely can wear this to the gym. I would only wear this to the gym, like, if I had to. Because I won't wear this outside. They better get them, y'all. They gonna sell out, y'all. We got different colors, like I said. I'm definitely gonna get this. So, I do want to try out... The other sets in the gym for sure because I just want to make sure there's no runs or nothing, no splits. Like, I got to definitely check it out because even though I love it now, it could be a no-go. Like, these shorts could get a split. If these joints get a, I should actually wear these tomorrow. Not tomorrow. I should wear these Tuesday to the gym because if these get a split in the butt, these are no-go. And I really love these. And these come in some great colors. And then maybe I'll wear these on Wednesday. Yeah, I might wear these on Wednesday. On back day. So, yeah, I'm going to wear those, test those out, let y'all know how those are, and see if I'm going to get them. And hopefully within that time frame, I have some other samples coming in. Yeah, I'm waiting for some other samples to come in. I would like to make the order all together, but if not, then I'm going to put definitely put this stuff in ASAP so we can have this out soon. But, yeah, y'all, so that was the little try on haul of Life Fit samples. Let me know what you guys think down below. And please make sure you check out LifeFitApparel.com and check out 
our Instagram and our Facebook page. We um, definitely have some really good sales right now. So it's still a little nippy outside. We got hoodies on sales, sweatsuits on sale. We even have like short sales, uh, a lot of different sales. So check it out. Cop up. Period. Good morning, squad. It is March 22nd. I don't think I got on here yesterday, but I'm on my way to the gym. It is 412 and I'm about to leave out the house. Can we just take a second to appreciate the lashes, y'all? Because I get my lashes done tomorrow. And they still look good. Um, to y'all, anyway, they definitely going to look good. I know I see a couple gaps. So it should probably be a quick filling. So happy about that. Y'all, yesterday was a day. But yesterday was in the past, okay? It's a new day. And I just want to get on here really quick this morning so I can show y'all the lay. So I'm trying out the new shorts today. And honey, they're giving... Are they giving? Yes. They giving. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> this is a life of crop hoodie as well. I didn't go through with these this year, but it was something I was thinking about for next year. But um, I had this in the closet on tuck. So it's definitely giving, you know, purple lay, cute Barney and girl form or whatever. <laughs> So we're gonna test this out on squat day. Today is leg day. We'll be squatting, we'll be a lot of like dipping, going down, and you know, really working those glutes and the quads just to make sure these are good quality to give us the A-OK -okay to order in bulk and get some different colors. So stay tuned for the workout. I love how they fit the girl. I love how they fit the girl. You know, it's, you know, the morning stomach is given as well. You know, ain't too bad today. <laughs> All right, so tune into the workout, y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Day. it is Wednesday yes it's Wednesday it's back day and real quick I didn't get to update you guys on like how I thought the shorts were yesterday and I thought about it because I'm, I'm wearing some of the sample pants um tights today and I can't wait to test these out because the shorts y'all amazing they were they were awesome I'm so excited to order them the quality was just impeccable so i'm super excited about those i think they're definitely going to be a big hit because they're different from my other shorts that are like super popping which are the girly compression shorts those are a big hit the girls love them and i think the girls are definitely going to love the shorts that i wore yesterday definitely gotta think of a name for them but first i'm gonna see what colors and everything i'm gonna get and then now i'm wearing let me show y'all i'm wearing these tights let me see if I can. So, I'm wearing these tights that have the little scrunchie in the back. Definitely booty popping, okay? But, yes, gonna test these out and see what it's hitting for. Really, really like these. They're so soft. They feel so, so good. And these come in some, like, really good spring and summery colors for the girls that I think y'all really gonna like. Y'all see, I still got these braids, okay? <laughs> because I don't feel like doing my hair. I have no choice but to take them out tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. I might end up taking, starting to take them out today. I get my lashes done today. And what else I get done? Hopefully get my nails done too. I was supposed to get my nails and my lashes done today. My nail tech texted me last night when I was asleep. And... She asked me if I could come in any earlier, so I texted her back and told her like when I could come in. So hopefully, I'll still be getting my nails done today. I don't have anywhere major to go this weekend. Like I am going out to eat Saturday, and that's really it. But I, like I could keep my nails the way they are if I had to. Like I'm not pressed to get them done this week. But next week, baby, we're gonna have a fun time next week. Okay. We have a nice time this week too. We're trying out a new restaurant on Saturday, so I'm super excited about that. And I get my hair did tomorrow. No, I get my hair did Friday. Uh, 
I don't know if we're cutting it. I don't know what it's going to look like. So, y'all really got to stay tuned for Friday when I get this hair done and seeing what our curly hair experience is going to be with the curl doctor. As soon as I walk in my mom's house. Yo, this is the worst temptation ever. What is wrong with her? Why you have them, mom? Because I have kids that I get. What you gonna say? It's Easter. <laughs> oh, well, this is why I can't be here, y'all. This is why I can't win the challenge and get my body how I want it because of her. Mm-hmm. It's her fault. That's why I need her to go on some type of diet or something. <laughs> she is the worst. Ooh, but I wanted to tell y'all about the tights. I tell you about the tights. I love the tights. But I want to show y'all what happened. Look at this. Can y'all see? You can't see it good. Okay. You can kind of see it right there. Like all of this got messed up and this got messed up you see what I'm saying but that's only because of the gym I go to and the harnesses we wear so it's, it's hard because I want to be like, I want to get them, but I can't just say like, disclaimer, don't wear them at TR Fit because they're going to like snag on the sides and mess up on the sides because we wear the harnesses. And it's honestly not until cardio. So I don't know. I really want to get them though because they're so soft. They're so comfortable. They didn't run or get any rips. They made the booty look good. And they're so comfortable. And like, you can wear them at any other gym because y'all don't, they don't wear the harnesses. But at my gym, I know a lot of people at the gym shop like fit. And I just don't want y'all to buy it and then be like, one time wear. Unless you have this shaver thing that I do have at home. But yeah, that's the review. I'm just up in the air about getting them. Please comment down below if you do attend TR Fit or even if you don't. Comment and let me know, like, do you think I should still get them? Because this is not, my life, it is not only for TR Fit people. I just know that a lot of people from TR Fit, TR Fit do support. But would you buy them just to wear them for as far as, like, chilling, um, running outside, doing errands or whatever? Let the girl know. Oh, yeah, I'm about to start taking these out. It's time. It is time. Ooh, this feels What's up, good. squad? Yes, I look different. I took my hair out, but it's not all the way out. <laughs> and I don't have time for this ghetto -ness. I have these many braids. What's one, two, three, four, five? I have five more braids I have to take out. But I got a nail review appointment. I don't know what this is about to be like. That's so freaking ghetto. I don't have a hat. I don't have anything. So I don't know what I'm about to do because I don't think I'm going to be able to take these five braids out before I get to the nailery. Oh yeah, so thank God the nailery appointment did not get canceled. Um, I know I was kind of up in the air about it earlier because I wasn't sure because she texted me and asked me if I could come earlier. I'm happy I'm happy I didn't have to cancel or reschedule. Even though like it wouldn't have been a, a big deal this week because of my plans this weekend it was a big deal the last time well not like a big deal but like i had to go somewhere else because i had some plans planned so these is my nails now y'all remember like super regular super regular degla these is my nails and i need to get them cut down and i'm getting something really like minimalistic but cute but yeah, y'all see, y'all see. I just made it here. It's literally 3.15. I got all my braids out. Literally just got the last one out. But I need to put this around my edges because it's all crusty around my edges. You know, when you take the braids out, it had a little white gook stuff. Like, ugh. Yeah, so. I'm glad I had this in my car. So it could cover the edges so it don't look too bad. Alright. I didn't even look in there to see if she had somebody, but all right, y'all. I made it. I just wanted to let y'all know and give y'all an update. Got the braids out so I don't look too crazy. And we're gonna pull that back. 
Cool. We out here. Or whatever. Yo, I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. Okay, got this, got this thing. I don't got man. Here we go. Alright, I will update y'all when I'm done or if anything crazy happens in the meantime. It's disgusting outside. It's like wet and nasty. It doesn't know if it wants to rain or be springtime or be sunny or be nice. I'm done, y'all. Calling my mom because I call her for literally everything. It's not focused. Ew, it's not focused. Okay. My nails is dead, though. She not going to answer, though? I'll be really feeling some type of way when my mom don't answer because why isn't it focused? Issue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't answer. It'd be a problem when she don't answer because why aren't you answering? Like, you have one responsibility. Me. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three zero. Did she forward me? Oh, she wrote on here, can I call you later? She must be on her out here and phone call. What if it was emergency? It's giving forehead, okay? Mm. Anyways, y'all. Love my nails. Super, super abstract and cute. What y'all think? What y'all think? I love them. Shout out to my nail tech. Period. Yes. Um, nails are done, so... I was calling her because I get my lashes done at 5. Uh, it's 4.16 now. But if I go there now, I'm going to be there probably at like 4.26. Do I just sit there and wait, y'all? Hey, y'all. So I'm walking in to get my lashes done. And my whole plan, I did sit outside and wait. Um, in my car obviously and the plan was to have girl talk with y'all but I decided to I know it's probably Winnie Wendy but instead of having girl talk and talking to y'all about some stuff what the heck bro oh <laughs> but instead of having girl talk I decided to learn more of the words to Dirk's album so yeah I'm a whole gangsta out here Oh my god, what happened to version? I stopped in the bathroom really quick and I just wanted to show you guys my lashes before so then y'all can see them after so y'all can tell a difference because I know 90% of y'all like, girl, you don't need your lashes done. But my lash girls, y'all see the gaps. But by far not bad like I usually am. So I'm super happy the retention is lasting. So whatever I'm doing, keep doing it, Nayo. Keep doing it. I am finished, y'all. Do y'all see the difference? The lashes is given. Oh, it's stuff on my thing. Maybe that's why it was blurry. Let me wipe this off, y'all. Okay, there we go. But yes, <laughs> Brie gonna say I look like I got like the wigs when I got the little um headbands that they be putting on. But hey, it is Thursday, and I just wanted to chat with y'all. I don't have too much going on today. I have a lot going on tomorrow, but tomorrow's going to be a whole separate vlog because it's a big day. Tomorrow I am getting my hair done. That's that curly hair appointment I had. I don't know if she's going to cut my hair. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow at all. I have no idea. Like, I have people asking me, am I nervous? How do I feel? But I don't know because I don't know what she's going to do or what she'll recommend. But I wanted to show y'all, like, the length is real, baby, okay? So, if she cut that jaw, no the rest of my samples came in i'm so hyped because now i feel like i can make my bulk order and then get ready for photo shoots and everything of that sort especially because the two i don't really have to test out but the one i'll see how when i put it on how it fits and like really test this material I'm looking at some and see if i really need to test it out before i order but i'm obviously going to and try it on with y'all and show y'all since I did show y'all the other samples and this just came in perfect timing within the same week. So we in the game, okay? All right, y'all. So here go the first thing. So it is a bodysuit or whatever. And my favorite part about this bodysuit is the back. Let me turn around. Bam. Y'all know I've been loving the back stuff. This back is cute. It's a lot going on right here, okay? 
super cute super 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 cute and this comes in three colors i did get one of the other colors because i wanted to see both of them this is actually a medium and it fits pretty good oh and for my girls with the boobs this does have boob stuff in here like boob support it's like a built-in bra in here so i'll show y'all that actually because I got a pink one too. And I got a pink one because I got one in a small and one in a medium. Because I wanted to know which one fit me the best. So this is the medium. It fits me really good. So I can't imagine how this going to fit. It's probably going to be tight as heck. But here goes like the boob, the bra thing in here. It like is like this. So hopefully the girls with the breasts will appreciate. Because y'all definitely be getting on me. Because my bodysuits don't be having the boob stuff in here. So yes. But... No, I think this comes up into an extra large, y'all. So, I think it's small, medium, extra large. So, yeah. That's what it's given. So, let me put on a pink one so y'all can see what it's looking like. Here goes the pink one, y'all. And what I did not show y'all with the blue one is where the logo is placed. So, this is a different placement for Life Fit. It's on the thigh. It's right here. I have it right here on the, like, short part. And I like it. I think it's cute. I think it's kind of trendy. I feel like this is what brands are doing right now, especially like the type of apparel that I'm wearing. This is the small. I do like how it fits, but I might go with the medium because I don't want to suffocate in my thigh. But I don't know. I got to like feel it out some more or whatever. But it definitely fits. It, they definitely both fit me, but I got to just see which one. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I might go with the medium, but I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling it, y'all. It's definitely giving the vibes. It's the back for me. I really love how, you know, it has all of that going on in the back. Because it's just cute. It's different. And it gives the girls what they want, okay? All right, so I have one more thing for y'all. It's a two-piece set. Tight. And I'm hoping it's going to really, like, make that booty peach. Okay? Hey, y'all. So, this is the two-piece that I was talking about. What I like is that it does have the little booty boot boot back here. Especially since I'm not getting those other types that I really love. I decided I'm not going to get them. Because I just don't think they'll be a good look for the brand right now. Especially with a lot of people who attend my gym do support and buy Life Fit stuff and love Life Fit. But I think, like, if they get those tights that I had on the, the um... Lavender ones in the beginning of the video. I wore them, what, yesterday? Wednesday? I just don't think people will be happy because they're going to mess up the size with the harnesses. So, once life is customer base broadens and gets a lot bigger, then I'll be able to buy stuff and not think too much about, you know, maybe what one specific audience of mine does. Anyways, yes. So, they had the thing in the booty. And I really love them. These ones have the thing in the booty too. It's just more of a plain feel. But what I do, I'm loving the material. My vendor is really doing his thing with getting me like quality material. This is nothing like the material that I've had before. It's very stretchy. It's very like, if it's really good, like I can do all of this like with this and it's, it's easy for me to do. But it also like conforms to the body. The bra is like crisscross in the back. But there's different styles too. There's different styles to this bra. And he didn't send me the one I think I really wanted. But if it's this material, this is fine. Y'all know I'm not top heavy at all. So bras don't really mean too much to me. But it does to you guys, especially my girls who are top heavy. So I'm trying to get stuff that is supportive. And I'm going to need y'all help with like reviews and tell me what y'all think as far as the tops. But this is giving me like medium support. It's not extra supportive. But it's not super loose where your boob will just pop up. Because I've had that experience, even though I got a match. But I've had ones that are just, like, easy breezy and, like, the little nip slip and stuff. And then I have ones that are super, like, tight and compact. So I think this is, like, medium support. And this definitely covers that stomach with this thick, this thick part right here. It definitely makes that stomach flat. And I think it's cute. It's kind of plain. You know, it's not a lot going on with the design. But I think it's great quality apparel like in general i think it's just a great quality um material and another perfect thing to wear to the gym an outing an excursion the airport stuff dropping like what's going on <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> but yeah so this was very impromptu because i didn't know that this would be here today good morning y'all it's friday 
and it is like 4 15 a.m and the fact that i don't have to work today and i'm up to go to the gym at 5 a.m is ridiculous okay i would never but i told y'all get my hair done today at 10 30 in philly which is like where it's at in philly is like an hour away so and i need to wash my hair and let it air dry so this is the only way that it makes sense even though most of us would have just like girl i would not be going to the gym but when you got goals baby you gonna go to the gym it's giving lioness <laughs> y'all i'm about to make my way to philly i just kind of woke up i told y'all i was coming to my mom's Wash my hair. Just been letting it air dry. Well, while I was asleep, because the middle is still, this is still trying to dry. But I got a feeling like it might be ninety-seven percent dry by the time I get there. Anyways, so I had to wash my hair on my own and detangle it, and you know, put little to no product in my hair and let it air dry. So that it, this is the product of me air drying it. I guess she wants to see like the natural hair pattern. I don't know. I have no idea. But I am going to keep you guys in a loop with, you see how like it's just so many different patterns in my hair. So many different patterns. But I can't wait to see what she does and what her recommendation is going to be. But I'm ready. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready, Yeti. Ready, steady, Yeti, Yeti. Rock. Steady. Cause your team was never ready. Y'all always wanted to be a cheerleader. Low key, low key, I wanted to be the basketball cheerleader. But only at my sister high school. My sister went to high team. And when she was a cheerleader, being a cheerleader was popping. And they cheerleaders was, was it. The cheerleaders at my school, no shade, no shade, no shade. They wasn't HVT, HGT, H, HVT. Honey, they wasn't on um, my sister's school. <laughs> they wasn't them. But yeah, when my older sister cheered, I was like, oh my God, we'll be a cheerleader. I used to go to the games and I'd be doing the cheers right next to them. Hi. Okay, I'm out of here. Watch, um, watch the video about me getting my hair cut and just doing a whole natural curly process with Tori did that watch it if you haven't make sure you watch it so you can see the whole the whole joint the whole yeah, hey hopefully you watch my curly hair video oh snap i just came around this been real crazy but hopefully you watch my curly hair video where i got my hair cut and got um, the curl doctor to touch this hair, baby. She did her thing. And she did her thing. And them curls is curling, okay? I love it, y'all. So I hope you guys liked it. I know y'all all didn't watch that curly video. So if you want to know details about everything, the process, where it was at, where it was located, like the process of her, like even like cutting it and seeing it like really transform, all of that is in that video. And I know that video is not that long, so. Go check it out for your girl. Give me some views and press that thumbs up button. But either way, if you did not see it or you did, let me know down below if you like it, if you feeling it. A lot was cut. Y'all seen what my hair was looking like before. Uh, yeah, so now I am at the mall. I'm back in Delaware. I need to give me some refills, some wallflowers. Uh, they're having five for 25. I don't know if it's always five for 25. I forget what the little sale is on the wallflowers, but I need to re-up on them. And that's really it. Yeah, I don't want to spend no other money. Because I just paid for this hair zoo, okay? And I'm going to go see her in four months. I already put my reminders in my calendar about making my appointment. Because you should um, go get your hair trimmed when you're living this curly hair lifestyle like I am every three to four months. I don't know if it should be more if, like, you're actively, like, getting your hair done often and putting heat in your hair and stuff like that. Yeah. So... But I got some wallflowers. I didn't really eat anything. So I feel like I should get like a salad or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Because that's not really what I want. I don't want no salad. Ensalada. I don't want an ensalada. What I want. What I want to eat. 
Hmm. We'll see. In the mall. Hello. How you doing? Now to figure out which ones I want. I'm so happy over here. Dinner guys, going to one of my little favorite Japanese restaurants. Uh, it's like the hibachis, but it's called Kiko's. So we about to get some steak and chicken. This is my vibes for the night. Steak, chicken, maybe some shrimp, maybe some shrimp. Hibachi is full. It was like a 30 minute wait. Didn't want to wait that long, so just sitting at like a little small regular table. But this is cute. Huh? <laughs> Y'all, this tastes like an onion soup. I think that's what it is. That's good. Do y'all get the soup or the salad at Hibachi Food? I always get the soup because I don't like the salad dressing that they get for the um, salad. Yeah, I'm that girl. And I don't do the yum yum sauce. Do y'all do the yum yum sauce? Let me know. Y'all, so I never ever order sushi out. I always try my friends. But I'm trying to be, I don't know, a little different. So I'm gonna try to taste it with my chopsticks. If I can get it. Okay. So let's put the whole thing in your mouth. It's not bad, but I don't get the hype about it. <laughs> guys dinner was cool went to wawa to get some snacks for tomorrow and guess what i got guess what i got Bow. somebody wrote me in my dm last week was like nah they're not even that good well excuse me last time i checked that was my thoughts okay <laughs> and i got an extra bag they only had two left i'm like they only got two left that means i should probably get that last two and i'm gonna get my sis one tomorrow at our meeting we have a meeting tomorrow at the gym and she was like, well, what, you want to get some chips? You want to get some chips? Because you know I love them chips. So she said she was going to get some Thursdays. But she was like, nope, because she was going to eat them Friday. So I'm going to surprise her tomorrow. And I got some apples for the night to quench my sweet tooth. Okay, so I'm going to call it a night. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Um, we got an early morning, sort of, kind of. Not really, not too early. I have the meeting at 11 a.m. And then we have late lunch at 3.30. See y'all tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's Saturday and I want to get on here because I took my bonnet off and this is how my hair looks. I wet a couple pieces but I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> because I don't have the products in yet and it's like, after talking to the curly hair doctor, I feel like all my products is bad for my hair. <laughs> So what the heck am I supposed to put in my hair? And what the heck am I supposed to do? I thought by some miracle I was going to wake up and my hair was going to look exactly like it did yesterday. So y'all don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> As of to now, I don't even know what time it is right now, but... I know it's probably like 9 something. Told y'all I had the me a meeting at 11. What I really wanted to do was get out of here. If I got out of here by 10, I'd be probably be perfect. Um, at the latest, I want to run my car through the car wash. And then get on the road because we got things to do and I don't want to be riding dirty. So, yeah, y'all. So, I guess, like, this is what my hair looks like. Like, look at these pieces right here. I feel like they're not, like, that's not how it looked yesterday. So, I'm going to try to figure out what to do with my hair because I need to figure it out. And that's what I got to do. So, I'll be back. I just wanted to, like, vent because I was really like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? 
It doesn't look like yesterday. Hey y'all, so I made it out the house. It is 10.02. Um, so good timing. I'm about to try to run to the car wash really quick. I have to, first of all, be at the gym at 11, but I'm also having somebody pick up a package at 11 too, so I want to be on time. All right, what is all this traffic for? Like, God dang. It's just like too much going on right now. Like, we're, like what is all of this for? Like, this is like not even like a major like road that just irritated me. Get it together. So, I wanted to show y'all my hair a little bit. Um, I had to put product in it that I didn't want to put in it. And really what saved me was some mousse. And I just put the mousse like in the area that needed it. So she did tell me, the curl doctor, that's what I'm calling her. Uh, she did tell me like, you know, you don't have to like redo your whole hair. You don't have to drench every part of your hair. Just do the parts that need that extra love and care. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. That's what I focused on. I tried a couple things and it wasn't working. I'm just like, was on the phone with my mom. Like, mom, I don't know. This is just not, it just looks so fast. Like, I was distraught. But, um, I was like, just put some product in it. Because I already did, but I wasn't trying to put any mousse in it. Child, I put that mousse in it, and the mousse is what did the most for it. So, I'm content with how it looks. But I'm really, um, ready just to get the products that I ordered so that I could start really training my hair and feeding my hair and giving my hair nutrition that it needs. Because I didn't really know what I was doing before. I was not feeding my curls. Okay. All right. What the hell? Thank you, sir. It is a lot going on. I got to go, y'all. I got to go because it's too much traffic for its own good. It's 10 o'clock. Like, people really be outside? What the freak is this? I'm just so irritated. I'm about to not wash my car now. Y'all, I'm with y'all favorite girl. Say hey, mom. Hey. See the camera right there. Hey y'all. <laughs> we are going on our monthly uh dinner outing. We do a girls' dinner outing with Gigi, Stinka, Shania, my mother and I. We went to the New Orleans kind of place last time called Wilma's. So this time we are going to this place called Corinne's in Jersey. Mom, how'd you find this place? Wasn't it on the news? It was on the news on uh, Good Morning America, and X no, it was on Channel Six Action News, and they shouted them out talking about their they're voted like number one in Jersey for their um, soul food. So, and all the reviews, even like some of the stars have been going like fabulous, and some stars from the New York area because it's about an hour away from us in Camden. Yes, in Camden, New Jersey. So it's probably like a central location for like New York people. Like, yeah, so like famous people have went there and everything. So we're super excited to go. I plan on getting an Cajun turkey wings. Mom, seatbelt, please. I uh, hold on. But like, yeah, every time like we all pick a place to eat. Where did we eat before Wilma's? Um, the one in, in Wilma Street, uh, the bowling alley, the new place. Where did we eat before Wilma's? Didn't we go somewhere else? Um, the one in Baltimore. Oh, yeah, we went to Poppy, Poppy Cuisine first. Remember, I took them to Poppy Cuisines for their birthdays. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we, like, pick a place every month. Um, we get together. We and to skip April and do May because I have so much going on in April, like, every weekend. We got, I got Ruby's birthday party Saturday. We have something else going on. So, so Gigi, we're going to have to skip April and go right into May for our next one. Okay. But let um, Gigi pick out the next one because we picked We already one. got the next one. We're going to the place. <laughs> you already We're told her? Yeah, she want to go there. Which she one? Oh, the southern place in Philly? Yeah. I sent you. That's where we wanted the southern place. So, really, jazz. it's my place again. <laughs> well, I told Gigi, and Gigi was like, oh, I'm going to tell Stinker to pick this place. So, <laughs> we already confirmed that we're going there next. All right, y'all. So, we're about to head on the road and get there. And we will um, touch base when we get there. Oh, yeah. My mom said my hair doesn't look bad. You don't think my hair looks no, bad? No, I, I think it still looks really good. Really cute. And the video is out, y'all. The video is supposed to come out Sunday. It, like, came out today, which is Saturday, like, on accident because I picked the wrong date. But people are still watching it, so I'm happy about that. I just wanted to go on Sunday because I feel like I won't get as much engagement on a um, Saturday because everybody's out and about. Like, look at us. Like, we're out and about. So, uh, and then but, people go out at night, so I feel like it's not going to get as much engagement as it would if it went out on Sunday. But then they have it to look forward to Sunday when they're laying in the bed getting up. Yeah, you're right. People clean and they put on YouTube. That's what people Maybe y'all surprise me, and if it does do really good, like, maybe I need to put out videos on Saturday. Exactly. So, 
All right, catch up with y'all when we get to the spot. And we're going to do a little shopping. Nice favorite. Are we? What are we doing shopping here? Remember you had to get your rod for the um the office so we could do your curtains. You needed the rod and what else? That's it was it. something else you said you needed. I oh, need and you need to finish your baby shower gift and the thing. Yeah. Don't can't say too much on I'm here. not saying nothing. Shelly watches. I know. I'm hey, not going to let Shelly know. Hey, Shelly. That's a lot of gifts. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just got here. We are early. I'm just showing y'all my hair, like. It's look curly, it's not giving bush. It's giving like, it looks curly. Mm -hmm. Especially all of this is super curly. I feel like you should need more product, like it's dry. Like you yeah. need oil or something. I know I put some like shine oil, but yeah. It wouldn't look so bushy if you had like had oil in it. Let me tell you how we turned down the street. And she's like, oh my God, turn around. Da -da -da. I feel like the older I get, y'all, the more scary I get like in certain neighborhoods. I think because I watch the news so much and all the shooting and carjacking. So it just has my fear at a little heightened and elevated. And like, you always hear bad things like about Camden and Philly. And so I just have that scariness. I told her I'm good in any hood, okay? We have no fear. The 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 pastor preaches about no fear. Like yo, I literally say like he I told you I've been talking, he been doing worry attacks the mind. Um fear attacks your spirit, stress attacks your body or something. Honey, she got all scared, her whole body tensed up. I said, relax. We driving, what they gonna do? What they gonna do? The blood of Jesus is on this car, okay? You see them seats? Blood. We is good. What it look like? Oh, oh, it's nice. Oh, it's good. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is cute. Look, we in a tent. He was like, they got alcohol. I said, I don't know. I'm really worried about the food. He said, Oh, okay. <laughs> Me. All right, that's why I said that you came in there because that man was awesome. I think it's hot sauce Dale, okay? Thank you. Y'all need anything else? A couple more hot sauce packets, please. More hot sauce? Yes. Thank you. All right, y'all, so we just finished our late lunch. It's 528, and guess what? We was walking out and we seen Miss Corinne. She was sharp too. She had a little Burberry bag. Her nails was done. She had some glasses on. She was like, how y'all make out? We was like, okay. And I, we didn't, it didn't resonate with us that it was her until like we, we was outside. done. We was like, oh my God, that was her. So I was like, that'd be too drove for me to go back. Y'all know I was a little scared. I don't want to go back and be like, hey, can you get on my vlog? <laughs> um, that's something I should have did right then and there. Yeah, but. because a real YouTuber would have said, hey, would you mind being in my vlog? Honey? But we didn't even, it's not like we knew. Like right. It's not like they said the the owner is sitting up there yes. then that have been different like we didn't know so it really would have been me guessing mm -hmm. and it would have been real joe so like i didn't want to go back and make it uncomfortable you know that can be uncomfortable sometimes but um what you think of the food Ma? i thought it was good um i probably wouldn't come back because it's 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 just regular soul food you know from any type of soul food restaurant it's nothing spectacular the sweet potatoes was the, my no i'm lying the black eyed peas and rice was really good and the sweet potatoes my chicken was good but it could have been cooked a little longer inside the baked mac and cheese was just a normal baked mac and cheese but it was good it wasn't bad it's just i wouldn't come back up this drive this far for you know to come back um agreed so it was it was all right like it was all right it wasn't like Oh, I'm coming back. Yeah. It wasn't like Atlantic City. Kelsey's. Kelsey's yeah. in Atlantic City. I want to go back there so bad. Just for their food, I would go back there. Yeah, Kelsey's was delicious. Delicious. It was delicious. You wanted to go back. But Corinne's was good. Like, I don't know if it's because maybe we didn't get what people... Mm. The streets in Camden? Yeah. It's worse than fair. Um, I don't know if it's because, like, maybe, like... You know how some places are known for certain things, um, but still, like my 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 turkey wings were were definitely fall off the bone. But how was the greens? 
the greens was cool i like my greens more on the spicier savory side they gave me more of like they had like a sweet little twist to it mm. you know they were good though like like stinker tore them up like she that was like she felt like that was the best thing she had but what was your best thing sweet potatoes it was all honestly wings. it was all just all right oh, okay i like, thought the sweet potatoes was good and the rice and black eyed peas and like so even did, um, and what you call it? like her rice too i love sweet potatoes and the sweet potatoes was to me was they was all right i, I don't know if they because they, they wasn't like like super hot because i don't i don't know what it was like everything like yo these are everything was just all right so long story short it was all right like um their cake to me my cake was just as good as that strawberry cake yeah, the chocolate cake was my my Aunt Gina cake. It's better than better that chocolate cake. <laughs> but um, like, but it wasn't bad. I wouldn't say right, not, it's not oh, bad. Like it's not bad at right, all. Right, right. It was just all right. You know, um, it was all right, and I'm glad we came and tried it. Like, yeah. it was a good experience just to come and try it. And like, if you've seen, like, it was outside in a tent, so more like a, if you had a wedding outside, like the how they have the receptions really in nice. the tents and stuff. Like, it was more of that. It wasn't a like inside building, um, but it was real nice. They had the little heaters out there and everything, so it was cool. Like, it was a nice experience, and I'm glad we we experienced it. I wouldn't say. Oh, you gotta go. But if you want to come out and try it, go for it. Um, and that's about it. So I'm about to um, follow my maps on how to get home. Because the camera is blocking me right now. And we about to go do some shopping. We about to make a right and point to the right. So, we'll be, we'll check back in with y'all. How cute is the aesthetic my mom wanted y'all to see? How eastery it is. Why you ain't get a cart? I didn't know what you needed. <sighs> yeah. Now I'm drained, tired. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at this. It's not. <clears throat> I want it to look like yesterday. Okay, let me go in here. My hair is definitely getting short. <laughs> this is what we're not doing. I'm not about to start down this aisle and go down every aisle. I'll take my purse and I'll go where I need to go. What? What they got, Mom? We going where we going. She about to walk down every aisle and that's what I'm not about to do. I'm tired. After eating that sleepy food, I done took out my big old earrings. And... I'm here for a basket, a rod, and some other stuff. I can't tell y'all on the vlog. What else did I need to buy? We're in line, and I feel like the Marshalls line used to be fly. It used to be like the Chick-fil-A line drive through It is Saturday. But it don't fly no more. Remember, the last time we was here, it was so slow. What do you need that for? I want to get um, the things. No one? I don't order them off Amazon for the other bathroom. Well... Guys, I'm tired. Huh? I'm tired. Well, we didn't find a rod, but I did get a lot of other stuff that I needed. So we have to go to the dollar store. And where else are you trying to go? I thought we was going to run in Target. Why? Need a rod? I don't need to get that right now. Why do I need to get that? Because you could have finished that other room tomorrow and put it up. When uh, no, you just want to go to Target because you just want to go to Target. So we're not going to Target. We don't need to go to Target. She always want to go to go to the dollar store in TJ Maxx. Why do we gotta go to TJ Maxx? Because we're there. You can't not go over that way and go to TJ Maxx. I don't want to go to TJ Maxx. It's already it's starting to get dark. You're not tired? No. What is wrong with it? Cashier number ten. What's this? Um. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? So it is. Uh, he has a country accent. What, it's what Sunday. Is and I forgot to vlog all the stuff I was doing earlier. I did some running around and some errands. And now I just got me some food. I haven't had Chipotle in a while. But I don't feel like Chipotle is cheating because all I get is chicken. They got this new chicken, so I can't wait to try it. I'm going to tell you how it tastes. They got some new chicken. It's like called something. It's like a spicy chicken. And when he told me, I'm like, you know, what's the difference in chicken? He was like, it's the something chicken. Poultry, poult, something chicken. He said, it's like spicy. I'm like, oh yeah, because y'all know I love spicy. 
So I get down to the end. Oh, I get brown rice fajitas, um, a little pico sauce, a little hot, some corn and lettuce. That's it. I don't get no cheese, no sour cream. I got a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of beans. I don't get no chips, no taco stuff, nothing. So I think it's healthy. Anyways, I get down to pay. It ain't eight sixty. It's nine forty something. I'm like, mm, he ain't tell me all that. It's almost a dollar more. Hmm. Y'all know I'm frugal. Y'all know I'm frugal. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm hungry and I can't wait to taste it. So I'm gonna show y'all how it go. Anyways, I just want to let y'all know that I have grown. I have grown as a person. I have grown as a woman. I have grown as an adult. I um consider myself very mature. Very mature. Because there be some instances that things come up. My name being stuff, y'all. Like, when I tell you I can't believe my name being stuff. Like, people bring up my name. But I guess it just comes with the territory. Like, it just comes with being who you are. And when you do mind your business, it don't matter how much you mind your business. It don't matter how low you stay. It don't matter how much you don't go out. How much you don't be seen. How much you don't post. It does not matter. Your name is going to bound, is bound to be brought up. Just because you are who you are. And you have to just be okay with some things and not react to things. Not, you know, get mad at things. Not, like, let them ruin your day. And you just gotta let them go over your head. And I'm just saying this as someone who has to let things just go over their head and not say anything. And I be, like, so confused sometimes. I'm just like, but why? Like, what did I do? I don't even be around you people. Like, I, li I literally don't be around you people. If anything, they might associate with people that be around me. But I don't be around you. I don't even be knowing who you are. Excuse me. So, I really be flabbergasted. Now, back in the day, I understand why my name was in stuff. You know? And I can admit that. Dang, it ain't nothing in here. I'm thirsty. Oh, I do got a water bottle right here, though. But back in the day, I understood why my name used to be in stuff. Because I used to be toxic. I used to be very petty. I used to be very mixy. Like, I was that girl. You know, I was that girl. Like, you know, I was that girl. And I was that girl. That was in the, in the mess. But I was still that girl. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, with, with time, experience, maturity. And just like, you know, just know, finding who I am in God. Like, I've just grown out of a lot of stuff. And, like, you know, know that that stuff is not for me. But, you know, it creeps up around and comes back around. And it just be like a little test. Like, you want to feed into it? You want to do something about it? Now, I'm going to just pray for the people. I'm going to pray for them. I'm going to pray for them. I might key key with the person who told me to, told me or brought me back the, the news. And not like bring it back with no petty type time. Just like, you know, just talking about the situation and how it was weird. Like, people be weird. Like, when you say people weird, like, it really be like, what? But why? But I reposted this post this week that's just like, you know, people hate what's in you because what they hate about you is missing in them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That is a word. What they hate about you be missing in them. They hate that you're so bubbly. They think you're so Joe. Like, why everybody like her? Like, this, that, da, 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 da. They hate all of that because it's missing in them. Baby girl, you got to be happy with what you got, what God, what gifts God gave to you, the talents God gave to you, and who you are. You just got to be comfortable with yourself and know who you are. And that's just on what? Period. Okay? But, you know, that's, that's my TED Talks for today, y'all. And I'm just wrap this vlog up by just saying, you know, be the light wherever you go. Because wherever you go, the light shall follow. And, like, when I say that, y'all... Sorry, the camera my hand is just going all types of places. I was supposed to be done my TED Talks. But when I say that, y'all, I don't really... I don't say that just because it sounds good. Like, I really mean the words that I'm saying. Like, because I really try to be the light wherever I go. Because, you know, wherever I go, I can bring the atmosphere that I want to bring. So, if I want to be the light, I want to be positive. I want to be, you know, a smile. Like, whatever. Like, I want to bring brightness to that area. Like, I want to change that atmosphere for the better. Like, wherever I go, that's going to follow. Because that's what I represent. I represent the light. And I believe we all represent the light. We, I believe we all have light within in us and we can all bring that light to whatever atmosphere we are in no matter if we could turn the dark days into shiny days okay we can bring a bad situation into a good situation just all depends on how you approach it and your mindset so again for the ones in the back for the people who couldn't hear me be the light wherever you go because wherever you go the light shall follow love you guys so much bye